Good morning, everybody. Eve's asleep. James is asleep. And we've actually been on the road for three hours now. Yeah. If here's letting me drive. Yeah. For maybe 30 more minutes. And then we're going to switch and then we're going to close it up. We're about 90 miles away from Florida. Officially back in Florida after four months. One last unplanned pit stop, um, about 30 miles north of the turnpike. A diaper change, some uh, gas, and a little walk for Eve, but mostly rooted in a diaper change. But we're, it says we're gonna hit some traffic before we hit the turnpike, so it's still staying like an hour and a half, two hours, which is a bit excessive, so we'll see. But it's 1.40, so. Either way. We're having some good time. It's a good time. And both of these little ones are They are. Just a typical rain, storm to sunshine afternoon. We are how many miles would you say? Ba Fourth? Yeah, barely a mile away from Magic Kingdom. For anybody who's in the know, we're on Reams Road right now. We're gonna sneak up in a Floridian way to drive around the backside of Magic Kingdom, say hello to Grand Floridian, and take World Drive just through the heart of Disney World before we head over to the Peach Says. I would say this is one of the most uneventful road trips. I wasn't going to say it until, because I thought the same thing, even as early as Illinois, I was like, this is very smooth. Yeah. We hit that tri the construction in 24, uh -huh. but even that wasn't awful. Yeah. And then we had a great night's sleep visiting friends in Atlanta. Yeah. Evie. Evie's been awesome. James. James has been awesome. Like, it was just like, it didn't even feel like the 20 hours that it was. Because like, very... There's a camel. There's the castle. left off we went to the Petrus's got all situated Eve is still there with the kitty cats did you like the kitty cats and now we're going to Disney Springs with Megan and Katie we got magic bands on we do Jamesy you need a magic band oh my god they should make little kitty cats Burger, let's see what we found. I didn't get a burger though, I got chicken. Oh, the yeah. buffalo? Yeah. Is there bacon in there? Yeah. Ooh. And Katie got like a little, it's like the kids one? Yeah. That's a good portion. <laughs> That's a good portion. Guess what? What? The sauce bar is open. <gasps> Do I gotta go in there? Barbecue, garlic ranch, sriracha ketchup. No, that wasn't open. Look at Sarah trying to get back into her social media days. <sighs> what kind of burger did you get? It is a lot of ups and downs feeling. and twists and turns. But a Disney Coke will make me feel better. What burger did you get? I got a burger with pimento cheese and a fried green tomato. And I got the El Diablo, which has fried jalapenos on it, I believe. Yeah. And the girls got. It's a burger. And a chicken. Delicious. It's running. It's Here is the Diablo burger. Yum. I wonder because yeah, like best kids burger you ever had. It's not like the crappy little one that they make for kids. Because they make them here. Yeah. And here's mine. Oh my goodness, it's raining. James has got to learn how <laughs> the Brookhart's to falter terrain. Nope. 
We're in line for World of Disney. I forgot our nice masks. So we're gonna buy new ones. We're gonna buy some Disney ones. So we're here to pick up masks, but there's also four months of merchandise that we have not seen yet. And he is ready. Including. Well, we've, I think we've, I've seen that sleeping sign before. Wait, we have not seen the Raya merch. Wow, that's a really cool doll. I think I know of a niece that, and a nephew that would like this stuff. Oh gosh. Welcome to the world of Disney Nemo. The Peaches Clan. New Nemo. Oh, I'm sorry. The Peaches <laughs> Clan. What is the hip thing to say? The Peaches Clan stands. Yeah. New Nemo. Oh, that's nice. Look at this cute display with their little chic coffees. What are you from Portland? Oh, oh, and the spirit jerseys. Peter found the most perfect mug. Ayo. Wow. Ayo. Ayo. Peter said he's the reason for the season. <laughs> Hey, he's 32 weeks old today. 32 is our number. Don't show me like this. <laughs> <laughs> you got mommy jacked up. Bask in the glorious smell of the Christmas store. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> You're soaking it all in, Jamesy boy. Yeah, you love Christmas? You're a Christmas baby. Yeah! Katie just had a realization that I was making fun of her for not realizing it until I realized I never realized it. We're in the Christmas shop and these are all the base of Christmas trees and they're giant ornaments because we're the size of the presents. Right? We are the presents. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. You guys are presents. Props for Disney going all out with pride this year. It's in like every single store we've been in so far. I almost it. just dropped this ornament. <laughs> oh man. Good thing we have super <laughs> We came in to Savannah Beco to clear out some of their bee beds. I think we're gonna at least get six or ten or forty. And, uh, what? All I wanted. We were supposed to have Beverly. We were gonna make him have Beverly. Right. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter. Who we'll decided to come back? We'll come back. We come from Chicago, stay with the Petersons, they now love Phil, so we watch the Chicago Phil. In many ways, the promise of America is realized here. So when we got here today, I thought that I had left our masks in our dryer cleaned. And there are Zensa ones, the ones that we wore through the summer in 2020 where they're so breathable and nice in the Florida heat and I was so upset but Megan and Katie told us that the new Disney ones are really nice so we got this one this rainbow one and Peter got this one I don't know if we showed these or not um, and then I ended up finding this one which is like gray with black Mickey's I am like I wear a lot more of neutrally colors and this one actually has like ribbing in it it was a little bit more expensive but very nice and then I got back to the apartment to find that I did remember those masks so now we have a bunch of masks um, but you guys know we have big heads and we tried on Megan's and before she left. I'm not saying Megan has a big head, but I'm saying that <laughs> <laughs> she had a Disney mask that we Is tried that on. What you're saying? We just had Disney masks before that That's that were a little tiny. They run a little small, so we got larges. I forgot this in Chicago, but the Petruses have their own copy, so they're saving the day. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. Charles R. Swindle. Iggy's a little bit upset. We're in his room. He brought all these creatures in. Look at that tail. And Teddy, you'll, Teddy is hiding. Yeah, off. Petruses, Brookhart, Brookhart, other people sleeping, other people sleeping. Tell them in the comments. Thanks for letting us stay with them because they saved our tuchuses. Yeah. We wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to leave, take off work this week to drive if we were trying to get to Saratoga Wednesday. Yeah. 
So it saved us. Yeah. It gave us like three days of like Extra cake. Fun. Yeah. yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. It's good to have them home. <laughs> Love it. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>